So who are you going to put your money on? The golfer who's got great technique but not very good rhythm or the golfer who's got great rhythm but a bit dodgy technique. Where are you going to put your lolly? Well, it's actually a really good question. So, before you bet your dosh, let's find out what rhythm is, what the effect is on your performance, and then we'll look at how to get good rhythm in your golf swing. So, don't put your cash on yet. Rhythm in relation to the golf swing is two things. One, your arm coordination to your body movement, and number two, the sequencing of the movement. So let's look at these two things first. One of the big problems in a repeating golf swing is trying to get control of the shoulder joint. It's the most movable joint in the whole body. So the danger is that the arms work independently of what your body. We need some control there to exaggerate it. Imagine a bolt running through the top of both arms or the old exercise, which I'm not a big fan of, and I'll tell you why in a minute of the head covers under your arms, feeling that the arms are swinging with your body the whole way. Very good idea. Unfortunately, it restricts the movement too much in a full swing. As soon as the right arm starts to bend here, the left arm has to rotate. So this relationship of arm on body will not be exactly like that, but it's a very good picture to have in your head and the start of getting coordination between your arm swing and your body swing. And the second part of rhythm is sequencing. If we remember back to the ball throw in video number three, speed, go back and watch it. The sequence was trying to work from the ground upwards on the downswing. So we're moving the weight forward, pushing in the ground, rotating the hips, rotating the upper body, releasing the leverage and rotation in the arm. So if we get this sequence in the swing, along with the coordination of your arms, then we're in good rhythm. So we coordinate the arm swing to the body swing on the back swing, tops of the arms in connection. We start moving the weight forward, throwing the club, throwing the ball, whatever you like, pushing in the ground, brings the rotation of the body, and then we get the leverage and rotation of your arms. That's building up the speed through the body, into the hands and arms, into the club head, sending the ball long and straight. So if we haven't got good rhythm, then we haven't got good coordination between your arm swing and your body swing, often classic chicken wing positions. We haven't got good sequencing, so the bottom of the arc of the swing is going to be in different places. The release is going to be in different places, affecting the club face. And the swing path is going to be different, again, if the sequencing is out. So we don't get good consistency if we haven't got good rhythm. So that's what rhythm is, and some of its influences, but how do I get it? What do you mean I haven't got it? Rhythm tip number one, grip pressure. On a scale of one to five, one, two loose, five, <coughs> tight as you can. Number three, start to finish. Three, 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 three. Encourages good arm to body coordination, good sequencing. <sighs> Rhythm tip number two. Breathe. We can do this in a number of ways. Back swing, breathe in, down swing, breathe out, or we can breathe out the whole swing. That's my preference. Let me show you. Back swing, breathe in, down swing, breathe out. Obviously in a rhythm. Or we can do breathing out the whole way. So what I recommend is last look at the target, breathe in, when the eyes come back to the ball, start to breathe out and keep breathing out. Rhythm tip number three, here's a funny one. Keep your cheeks and your tongue 
loose. Okay, and the mouth slightly open so the breath flows. What we're doing in all these tricks is trying to get rid of the tension in your hands and your arms and your shoulders. So, here we go. Mouth open, cheeks, tongue, soft in the mouth. From start to finish. So back to the original question. Do you put your money on the technical guy or the rhythm guy? If the technical guy sequences things out, then he's going to get a lot of variety. If the rhythm guy may not be as powerful as the technical guy, because he's not technically as good, but he's going to get repetition. So, where's my money? Rhythm guy. So, eh, uh, day.